one out of every 20 deaths in America is due to stroke. Naperville News 17's Alyssa Bohenick has the story of one local man who came close to realizing those statistics earlier than he thought possible. When Brandon Kleintaub woke up to take his wife to Edward Hospital for their scheduled C-section in 2009, little did he know he would also end up in surgery. I took my shower, um, I stepped one foot on my master, um, my master bedroom carpet and I, I, I felt like a pop in my ear and I, I, just, I just felt numb, like whole right side of my body just, you know, felt, felt tingly. At just 31 years old, Brandon was suffering from a stroke. Instead of a trip to the maternity floor, he ended up in the emergency room. And I, I couldn't lift my arm, I couldn't, I guess my, my smile was half crooked, um, you know, it was just, uh, it was just a surreal, a surreal moment. Brandon suffered from a common heart deformity called patent forum ovale, or PFO, a hole in the heart walls that normally closes shortly after birth. In his case, those holes remained open, allowing a blood clot to travel from his heart to his brain. One of the arteries, or a branch of one of the main arteries that supplies blood to the brain, or part of the brain, gets blocked. And that part of the brain that's deriving its blood flow from that particularly blocked artery stops working. And very quickly, the cells start to starve of oxygen and die. The only way to fix his condition was to undergo surgery. But his insurance wouldn't cover the $10,000 cost unless he had another stroke in the future. So Brandon went home and waited. And three years later, that's exactly what happened. I, I lost vision in my in my right eye, and all of a sudden, I, I just felt I felt felt it all again, and I knew exactly what was happening. Another trip to Edward Hospital with his wife finally fixed his heart condition, decreasing his chances of having another stroke, something that they never thought possible for a 31-year-old man. But according to Dr. Shabani, strokes are becoming more common in the earlier years of life. In fact, 10% of strokes in those occur under the age of 45. But there's a different reason behind them. It's often from a different mechanism than what we see in the elderly population. Most of the causes of stroke in young people are, for example, a dissection, which is a tear in the inner lining of the artery. That can happen with certain physical exertion. That can happen with certain neck trauma. Um, terrible coughing in some instances I've seen doing that. Luckily for Brandon and other young stroke survivors, their road to recovery is typically shorter than compared to their older counterparts. After two surgeries and some rehab, Brandon is now able to catch up on his life outside of the hospital, but not without some thought about how quickly life can change. I'm worried. I still have issues with, with, with sleeping, but since then I've, you know, I've run a, run a marathon. Um, I've done, you know, two Tough Mudders. Uh, I'm active. You know, I, I, I run, I, you know, I play with my kids. I don't live in fear. It's just, it's just in the back of, your, back of my mind. I'm Alyssa Bohenick for Naperville News 17. It's important to know the signs of stroke. Think of the acronym FAST, noticing changes in a person's face, arms, speech, and acting in a good amount of time can help detect a stroke and save lives.